hello welcome to afoid tv thank you for stopping by my channel to watch my videos uh if this is your first time please subscribe um but if you've been coming here guys thank you so much for coming in today um guys today i'm going to talk about the student visa appointment wait times this has been a major issue um that a lot of people are worried and concerned about because you know fall semester is beginning uh next month and the recent outrage was when uh, the U.S. Embassy in Nairobi, Kenya, announced that the earliest appointment time will, will be uh, June of 2024. So I took it upon myself to gather some data so that I can share with you. So uh, what you're seeing on your screen is uh, I have split up the, uh, the African continent into regions. You have North, West, East, Central, and South. Okay, and this is based on the UN uh, designations. Um, so let's see how the appointment wait times uh, are reflected in various regions throughout Africa. The areas that are in gray in Africa, they're uh, places that the embassies are either not issuing visas uh, for student uh, visa applicants or they have been suspended or they never were even issuing one. So now let's move to West Africa. So when we move to West Africa, um, we'll see that um, uh, in Cape Verde, the wait time is seven uh, calendar days. Uh, Mauritania is 30 calendar days. Senegal is 25 calendar days. Abidjan is seven calendar days. Ghana and Togo are both 90 calendar days. In Benin, it's 175 calendar days. Uh, Wagadugu is 236 calendar days. Guys, the reason why these numbers are very important, as you're seeing on the map, the smaller the uh, the, the orange circle on the map, the, the shorter the appointment wait time. So that means that if you go to the places that have the smaller orange circle, then you will have a quicker appointment wait time than, you know, going to like say Burkina Faso that has like the largest in West Africa. Okay. So guys, uh, these are the statistics. Um, when you go to Nigeria, you know, Nigeria, they have two embassies and consulates. So Abuja is, um, 150 and then we go to uh, Lagos is 30 now let's go to Central Africa Central Africa um, of course we have Chad uh, we have Cameroon we have uh, Equatorial Guinea we have Gabon we have Democratic Republic of Congo Angola um, look at the uh, the student appointment wait times in Angola. It is eight calendar days. Can you believe that, guys? <laughs> and then when you go to Cameroon, it's thirty four calendar days. When you go to Chad, it's uh, uh, twenty nine calendar days. Um, when you go to um, when you go to Malabo, the uh, appointment wait time is ninety calendar days. When you go to Kinshasa, it's 14 calendar days, y'all. Um, what this tells you that um, there are some countries that have really short appointment wait times. So uh, it is in your best interest to, you know, uh, try and get your interview appointment in these countries, especially for those of you who are looking to start their semester uh, in fall, this coming fall. Um, it's you know a few days away and we'll be in August and a lot of the universities in America will be resuming okay so now let's uh, next up let's go to East Africa okay East Africa we have Kenya Tanzania Uganda Ethiopia all of that all of those countries but let's see their numbers in Eritrea uh, the uh, wait time is 21 calendar days Djibouti is 120 um, Addis Ababa in Ethiopia is 60 calendar days um, when you go to uh, Uganda is 30 calendar days and when you go to Rwanda is 15 calendar days when you go to Bujumbura in Burundi is three calendar days when you go to um tanzania Jerusalem is 63 calendar days when you go to malawi 73 um when you go to uh zimbabwe is 107 
um interestingly kenya kenya has 665 calendar days so if you're a kenyan who is really looking to uh, start your fall semester in america this coming fall uh, for the 2022 and 2023 academic year, then you need to uh, go to another country. Um, now let's move to South Africa, Southern Africa. Okay, so Southern Africa we have Namibia, Botswana, Eswatini, uh, and then South Africa. Okay, Lesotho is not you know uh, processing or issuing a student visa at the moment but look at uh, namibia the wait time is 14 calendar days when you go to botswana is 30 calendar days when you go to uh, uh south africa there are actually three uh, embassies and consulates in south africa so johannesburg is 60 calendar days when you go to cape town is 36 calendar days when you go to durban is 15 calendar days so if you're in south africa and you're closer to uh, Durban then you don't want to go to Johannesburg or you don't want to go to Cape Town because Durban has 15 calendar days and then let's look at Eswatini Eswatini you know is the country that used to be called Swaziland the kingdom of Swaziland is now uh, the kingdom of Eswatini okay so when you go to Eswatini the turnaround time is three calendar days so if you are in uh johannesburg area and you're trying to get your interview then guys you may want to go to uh eswatini now guys last but not the least we're going to look at northern africa okay this area is uh, shaded in purple we have morocco Ca uh, casablanca which is 13 calendar days when you go to Algiers, it's 14 calendar days when you go to tunis in tunisia it's 21 calendar days and when you go to uh, Cairo Egypt is five calendar days so uh, if you are in North Africa and you're looking for appointment you may um, and, and you feel that the um, the wait time is too long then you may want to go to your neighboring countries um, obviously the trip from Tunisia or from Algeria or Morocco to uh, Egypt which has the the shortest uh, calendar day period um, is a little far so I don't know it looks like Northern Africa they are doing well so what are the takeaways the major takeaways are that you can interview in another country but you must pay your visa fee in the local currency of that embassy and then you need you you might need a visa to enter that country and please start early all right thank you guys for your time see you in another video bye, -bye.